My name is Maria Iqbal. I was always an artist. Uh, I didn't express myself as an artist for many years, but uh, as a full-time artist uh, about five, six years ago. I used to be uh, an art director in advertising, thinking that uh, it was a creative field. Somehow I could express myself uh, uh, creatively and still make a living. Uh, but after 10 years of doing that, I, was, I, I had been denying to myself that I was not happy and finally I couldn't take it anymore. About uh, five years ago, I realized that I wanted to live my life utterly, madly and deeply in art. So uh, I started with uh, furniture. I wanted to transform furniture um, and it, then it took a life of its own. It, it, it went into uh, fashion, um, accessories, home decor, it became a, an obsession. I, I, I wanted to paint everything that I saw and uh, I guess that's my love of art. I was born in Kabul, Afghanistan and uh, I moved to Dubai when I was four years old. I'm one of five children, and uh, but I do not identify with any of them. I'm the only artist in the bunch. People are always surprised when they meet me. First, because I'm an Afghan woman, and uh, second, because I'm an artist. The, the media has somehow uh, given this impression of Afghan women wearing uh, these blue uh, burqas and seeing the world through the slit in their eyes. And it's so not true. Like, my mom grew up wearing miniskirts. Um, what you're seeing in the media today, it, that's not uh, representative of all of us. I make no secret of being independent, uh, rebellious, I'm fearless. People ask me, uh, as an artist, uh, what is a message you want to give? Um, is there a message in your art? And the message in my art is uh, to be happy, be yourself and be fearless. And uh, I don't think that I'm, my art has to show an Afghan woman uh, being suppressed. Uh, that's not who I am, um, that's, that's not representing my art. Uh, one thing that I'm very passionate right now uh, is my involvement with uh, the ladies of uh, Sewing Hope. Uh, what we do is we go to different uh, refugee camps uh, around the world and we teach uh, these women uh, uh, who have lost everything um, how to sew, uh, learn how to make a living out of it and feel like they're contributing something and learning something new. I didn't magically become an artist. The first two years were humbling, depressing, frustrating. Uh, I was, I kept asking myself, am I doing the right thing? And the answer that kept coming back to me was, you don't have a choice. Uh, one thing that's very gratifying for me is seeing people uh, surround their, uh, their lives with my creations. Uh, when I see somebody wear something I made or have something in their home uh, that has my touch in it, that's, there's no, greater reward than that. What inspires me is popular culture. So uh, I would say that icons, superheroes, uh, popular heroes, those were my inspiration growing up. My advice to upcoming artists or anybody who wants to follow their heart is uh, to be fearless. Uh, follow your heart, do what uh, you're meant to do. And if somebody's copying you, that's a good thing. That means you've made it. Um, I'm not phased by copycats. I'm already on my next thing.